Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, we're going to do something else. I'm going to show you guys how to clone yourself. Before we start this video, let me show you guys how I've set this up. So here you see that I've got my camera and then we've got the background. So I'm going to stand over there. I'm going to take a couple of pictures and then my camera will record everything. I'm going to set the timer. You can use your phone as well as a timer to use it with the compatible app of your camera. But in this case, I'm just going to set the timer on the camera. So let me show you guys how this looks. I have to tell you guys that the background is very bright. I've got an ND filter so I can move the light around. You see, so I can uh, expose the light properly in the back or I can make sure that I'm in focus and I'm nice and bright and stuff like that. I'm going to take my position and take a couple of photos. The reason why this angle is so low, by the way, is because I've lost that that mounting plate of my tripod, so I've got it standing on a chair right now. I hope you guys don't mind, but let's continue. So now I'm sitting here waiting for the timer to end for my first photo. And now the photo has been taken. And the thing is that in the back, you see a painting. Let me show you guys. You see a painting over there and that moves with the wind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand there, focus on my face. I'm going to stand there to make sure that it doesn't move and I'm going to use that as a base photo. There you have it. So that's the second photo. Now I'm going to take another one. Let me see what ground it covers. Okay, I'm going to take another photo. Let me show you guys. I'm going to move this around a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm having a lot of fun making this video, by the way. It's something else, it's something new, but I wanted to show you guys a behind the scenes of how I shoot my videos and stuff like that. So the tutorial of this photo, how to create it, will follow in a few minutes. So now everything is overexposed. So I'm turning this so you can see me standing on that stairwell over there. So what I want to do is I want to make one more photo so that I've got four of me. I want to take another one. So I gotta run because I'm not using the timer of my phone. Just going to lean it. There you go. So that was the final photo taken. Let me show you guys though. Let me take you outside. The weather is lovely, it's very harsh. Let me zoom out. There we go. It's a little bit too bright that way. It's so hard to expose properly with the sun shining in my face. Um, so here's the background that I've taken the image. And now I'm going to show you guys using GIMP how to create a, a clone of yourself and make everything come together. Before I'm going to create this clone photo in GIMP, I want to edit the photos in Darktable. I'm going to show you guys how to do that really, really quickly. Let's go. All right, so here's the image that I've started to work with. I've got a couple of images down here. And what I've done is I've edited it into this and now I'm going to save it as a preset so that I don't have to do everything manually with the other photos. So you can click this symbol, create a style from the current history stack and then give it a title, blah, 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 blah. And then click the uh, lens correction and the color lookup table and the exposure in this case because the exposure stays the same throughout all the photos. So I'm going to click that, I'm going to hit save. I've already done that and here you see a result with the preset applied and I'm going to use a different photo. So this photo hasn't been edited yet and all I got to do is click this symbol, hit clone shot and boom, there you go. So now it's got the same color scheme as this one has and it's a very quick way to edit the photos in a segment all together. And right now we're in GIMP and I'm going to import the photos as layers. You can do so by clicking file and then open as layers. And I know it's these five photos, so I'm going to hit open. It asked me to convert the color profile, but I'm going to keep it as is. 
and I'm going to do that for all of the photos. And I guess that's one too many, so I'm going to delete this layer. There you go. So here are the photos that we're going to work with. So we've got me sitting on the chair, then we've got me standing over there, then we've got a photo of me standing on this stairwell, and then we've got a photo of me standing here. Now, because the background is all and the same, I'm just going to keep everything as is. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that if I just select, uh, let's say the top one, I can't see the bottom one anymore, which is kind of frustrating. So that means that I need to paint myself in and I'm going to do that step by step. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm just going to paint myself in over here because everything else is the same and you can do so by hitting your right mouse button and then add a layer mask and you've got two options. You've got black full transparency and that means that uh, you're going to look through this image. So you will see me standing here over again. Or you can use white, which means that everything that's white on that layer will be shown. And in this case, it will be everything. So for now, I'm going to do black full transparency. I'm going to hit add and now I'm gone. So we've only got the photo in which I'm standing over here. And how we can change that is by clicking on this. So this layer, the extra layer that we've just made and make sure that this foreground color is in white. Then we're going to grab a brush and I'm going to make sure that the brush is set to the third one. So hardness 75 and we've got a brush size, which isn't very big. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and because we've got the same background, it doesn't have to be very precise, but watch what happens. I'm now painting myself in, in the image. There you go. And now we've got two of me in this image. And I'm going to do the same thing for the next layer. So I activate it. Now I only see me over here. I'm going to hit the right mouse button at layer mask, use a black full transparency mask, add it. Now I'm gone again in the center, but I'm going to make sure that I select this layer and I start painting. There we go. I'm going to do the painting as well. And now we've got me standing over there. So there's three of me. So one more time, select this one, right mouse button, add layer mask, black full transparency, add, and just, I'm going to increase the brush a little bit, paint myself in, maybe make it even bigger. There you go. So it's a little bit more quicker and easier and everything else is staying the same. There we go. So I've got to make sure that the shades and stuff, everything is correct. There we go. And now we've got four of me in this image. I've created my own party and that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you would like to see more of my videos, please check this playlist over there or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!